Hi guys, the top 7 retirement destinations in the US for 2024 will be revealed in this video. Being informed before you move is a wise step. Regardless of your retirement's motivation being nearer to family, having a lower cost of living, downsizing, having better healthcare, or simply seeking a new view out the kitchen window, you might be surprised by the outcomes. First off, the Sun Belt is home to just one of the top 10. For instance, Florida's score decreased from prior years due to lower happiness and desirability ratings. Active retirees' choices for cultural and outdoor activities activities were represented in the list rather than their love of warm beaches. Secondly, a large number of options are located in Rust Belt cities, which were centers of industrial industry and expansion in the late 20th century. But this century, their plants closed and the towns experienced financial hardship. These cities transformed themselves and now provide affordable housing along with a plethora of amenities and attractions. Thirdly, large cities only make up two of the top 10. The remaining cities are smaller ones, yet many of them are just a short drive from larger cities. The fact that seven of the top 10 picks are located in a single state is likely the biggest surprise. Assume the state by leaving a comment below. The selections were based on the details people consider most carefully. U.S. News said it compared the 150 most populous urban areas of the country. The resulting preferences are based on a survey of people aged 45 and older weighed against objective data such as affordability, taxes, the local job market, and access to quality healthcare. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before before we start this video about the top 7 best places to retire in the United States in 2024. Let's dig deeper in top 7 best places to retire in the United States in 2024. Number 7. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh is a major city with a rich history. Once known for its steel industry and still called Steel City, it's also known for its natural beauty with rivers like the Allegheny and Monongahela running through it. There are over 400 quaint bridges. In the last 30 years, Pittsburgh has reinvented itself as a center for healthcare, education, and technology, hosting Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Many companies have headquarters here, providing plenty of jobs. This rise in job opportunities makes Pittsburgh attractive for families and graduates, according to to a U.S. news report. Pittsburgh also has more affordable housing than other big cities. The diverse population has a median income of under $40,000 per family. The city also boasts around 2,000 acres of parks, several museums, sports venues, and the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. Number 6. Youngstown, Ohio. Youngstown, Ohio, like Pittsburgh, was once known for its steel industry. Located in the Rust Belt region at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, it is now undergoing a cultural and economic renaissance. Downtown Youngstown is seeing new businesses, including restaurants, bars, galleries, and shops. The area is surrounded by farmland, and residents enjoy shopping at local farms and Amish markets. Situated between Pittsburgh and Cleveland, Youngstown has a diverse population with a median household income of $31,129, according to the 2020 census. The metro area's crime rates are lower than the national average. As of September 2023, the median home price was $130,000, up nearly 23% from the previous year, making it a trendy place to live. Number 5. Daytona Beach, Florida Daytona Beach is the only Florida city in the top 10 and the only Sunbelt city on the list. It has over 23 miles of beaches and at least 10 waterfront parks. There are many opportunities for golfing and fishing, and it's home to the Daytona International Speedway, a favorite for NASCAR fans. Daytona Beach also offers museums, theaters, performing arts centers, antique markets, restaurants, malls, and colleges, making it a well-rounded metro area, according to U.S. News. Located on the Atlantic coast, it is vulnerable to tropical tropical storms and hurricanes, and homeowners insurance has become very expensive. The city has a crime problem, but both violent and property crime rates were lower than the national averages in 2020. Number 4. York, Pennsylvania. York is a historical city in southern Pennsylvania, founded in 1741. It was once the temporary home of the Continental Congress and claims to be the birthplace of the Articles of Confederation. Today, it has many museums and points of interest. The city's narrow, cobblestone streets are quaint but can be difficult for those with mobility issues. The cost of living is 4% lower than the national average and housing is 14% cheaper. With over 40,000 residents, York is the 10th most populous city in Pennsylvania, which is actually a commonwealth along with Kentucky, Massachusetts, and Virginia. York's diverse population has seen significant redevelopment efforts, and in 2019, it elected its first African-American mayor C, Kim Bracey, who served for eight years. The city's shops, high-end apartments, events, and arts community have made downtown living trendy, according to U.S. News. Number 3. New York City. 
New York. It is known for its fast-paced energy and many cultural activities. The city has an extensive and accessible public transit system. Despite frequent complaints about broken elevators at subway stations, you don't need to drive. New Yorkers over 65 qualify for a reduced fare MetroCard. One in six New Yorkers is over 65, according to the last census. The city also has some of the country's best medical facilities and a vibrant service-oriented workforce. While Manhattan is very expensive, other boroughs are more affordable. Still, the city's high noise levels, crowds, and costs can be deal breakers for many people. Number two, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Allentown in the Lehigh Valley is Pennsylvania's third most populous city. Located in the eastern part of the state, it's about an hour north of Philadelphia. Allentown offers a variety of hiking and skiing trails. Its convenient location, commitment to healthy living, and celebration of the arts make it a great place for active people, according to U.S. News. Formerly an industrial town, its major industries now are healthcare technology and energy. The median household income is about $66,000, and the median home price is around $270,000 thousand dollars which is 12 percent higher than the national average the cost of living is five percent below the national average allentown is pennsylvania's fastest growing city number one scranton pennsylvania Granton is the sixth most populous city in Pennsylvania. Known for its iron and steel industry in the 19th and 20th centuries, it still features attractions like the Steamtown National Historic Site. Scranton's close-knit neighborhoods and vibrant downtown give it a small-town feel, according to U.S. News. It has a low crime rate and cost of living, with the average cost of living 7% below the national average and housing 24% cheaper. In 2012, the city nearly went bankrupt but has since undergone revitalization attracting more people and businesses. The pedestrian-friendly downtown has a vibrant nightlife, and old industrial buildings have been converted to loft-style apartments. The population is 83% white, and over 20% are age 65 or older. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts or suggestions. See you in the next one.